Hi there, my name is Marina and I'm very happy to see you on my YouTube channel. Welcome to this stunningly beautiful place for another yoga practice. Close your eyes and imagine a couple of yellow flower trees, peach blossom, soft breeze and warm sunshine. That is the atmosphere for our vinyasa flow with a focus on inner thigh stretches and flexibility. You might need a block and a towel to modify a few poses. If you are ready, let's begin in the tabletop position with my favorite knee circles. Extend your right leg back. Now open the right hip on top of the left. Bend the right knee and circle all the way forward towards the right shoulder. Three more circles this direction. Really notice in the moment where you're opening through the hips and when you're squaring them. Let's do it the opposite direction now. Draw the knee to the shoulder and then lift high up through the side before you extend your leg back. One last time on this side and bring the right knee down. Extend your left leg back, hug the stomach in. Open the left hip on top of the right. Bend the left knee, circle it big. Beautiful warm up for our hips. One last time this direction. And now let's try the opposite direction. Try to lift through the knee as high up through the side as possible. Wonderful. Bring it down, tuck the toes. Let's come up into the first downward facing dog. If it feels necessary and good, you can choose to slowly walk the feet in place, bending into one knee at a time and trying to reach the heel a little bit closer towards the floor for that extra stretch through the hamstrings and the calves. Whenever you are ready, hold your downward facing dog as you connect to your breathing. Now walk your hands towards your feet and come down into Malasana or Yogic Squat. I really like wiggling from side to side, opening onto the outside edge of the foot, opening the knees a little bit wider before I can become a little more comfortable here. You can choose to go for a few side body extensions, Extend the right hand down, lift through the left arm up, open through the chest, and then the opposite side. Make sure that you're trying to open your knees wider. Then come back to the center, bring the hands at the heart, and let's take a few moments here. Strong glutes. Our glutes allow us to open the hips and the knees a little wider apart for a deeper inner thigh stretch. Now make your way back into the downward facing dog. With the next inhale, reach through the right leg up. Exhale, step it through for warrior two. Root through the left foot into the floor. Right knee is facing straight forward. Arms reach out to the sides. Now straighten your right leg. 
and come back into warrior two. We'll do this six more times, slowly bending into the knee, making sure that it faces the same direction as your toes. Shoulders remain on top of the hips. Beautiful reverse warrior. Extend back towards the end of the mat. Your left arm can be alongside the left leg or wrapped behind your back. Inhale, right forearm onto the right thigh. Sweep the left arm up and over the head. Extended side angle. Let's do the reverse warrior one more time, still sinking into the hips, bending into the right knee. And now extended side angle with the hand either to the floor or to the block. Reach the left arm over the head to the direction of the front of your mat. Keep opening the right knee away from the right shoulder. Inhale back up warrior two. And straighten your right leg for triangle pose. Reach forward, point the right fingers down or place the right hand onto the floor and sweep the left arm so that it reaches to the front of the mat. Find the link through the left side of your body. Hopefully feeling the stretch through the inner thigh of the right leg. Inhale, lift back and up into warrior two. Exhale, bring the hands to the floor, turning into the lizard lunge. Keep your left knee up away from the floor just for a few moments. Sink the hips down, lift through the chest up, and now release the left knee down. Lift through the chest up even more. You can choose to remain here or bring your forearms down onto the floor or onto the blocks if necessary. A few deep breaths here in the lizard lunge, allowing for some time for the hips to open to feel the stretch through the inner thigh of the right leg. Come back up onto your hands. We'll transition into the side lunge on the right side. If you cannot lower the hips all the way down, hold them up higher whenever you can keep, wherever you can keep uh, your right heel down onto the floor. Focus on opening the right knee away from you and the left knee is facing up, just like the left toes. Lift through the chest up. Again, might be fine the extension over to the side with your left arm reaching up. This is not a very relaxing pose. Doesn't matter whether you're high up or low, it takes a lot of strength through the glutes. We're already stepping back into the plank to go through a vinyasa. Exhale, chaturang. Inhale, up cobra or upward facing dog. And exhale back into the downward facing dog. Let's complete the sequence on the other side. With the next inhale, reach through the left leg up. Exhale, step it through for warrior two. Find your alignment. Left heel is in the middle of the right foot. Pull the stomach in so that you don't stick the booty out. Now straighten the left leg and bend into the left knee about six more times. Every time as we bend into the left knee, we make sure we're opening through the hips and pointing that knee forward so that it doesn't collapse inside. One 
wonderful from warrior to transition into the reverse warrior might be wrap the right arm behind your back keep the bend through the left knee inhale back up left forearm onto the left thigh for extended side angle right arm is reaching up and over the head Let's do this one more time into reverse triangle. The chest is open. Find the length through the left side body. And now the left hand to the floor or onto the block. Extended side angle. Make sure the left knee doesn't collapse onto the left shoulder. It's a very active, strong pose. Warrior two. And straighten the left leg for triangle pose sweep the right arm up and over the head in the direction of the front of your mat find the length through the sides of your body lift through the chest up ground through the feet into the floor and pull the right hip slightly backwards inhale come back into warrior two Exhale, bring the hands to the floor, shifting into the lizard lunge with the right knee above the mat. Sink the hips down, open through the chest up. Now touch the right knee to the mat, soften into the hips even more. Take a deep breath. You can choose to stay here. I sometimes prefer to stay on my hands because it feels like a better stretch for my hips. If you lower on to the forearms, you might feel a deeper stretch through the inner thigh. Don't be afraid to use the blocks, books or towels underneath your forearms to make this pose a little bit more accessible. From here, let's come back up onto the hands and we will transition into the side lunge on the left side. It might take a few wiggles, adjustments, that's absolutely fine. This is a rather intense stretch for the inner thighs, so keep engaging into your glutes to open through the knees. Left knee doesn't collapse onto your left shoulder again. Might be fine the side extension as you reach the arms out. Don't be afraid if your hips remain a little bit higher up. Beautiful, come out slowly as we go through the vinyasa. We'll come together in the downward facing dog. Bring your knees down, tabletop position. Now extend your left leg out to the side. Flex into the left foot and point the left toes up towards the ceiling. Externally rotate through the hip so that your left knee also points up. Try to stick the booty up, lift through the chest up to feel the stretch through the inner thigh of the left leg. This is not a very relaxing position. For me, it takes a lot of effort to find that anterior pelvic tilt and create the stretch through the inner thigh. The stretch will become a little bit more intense if you reach through the right arm up in the open twist. Still, feel for the muscular engagement into your left leg. Slightly pull onto the heel towards you. Love the stretch. Now we'll go for thread the needle variation. So 
Lower down at the right arm reaches to the left. And inhale, open back and up two more times. Right arm reaches to the left, lowering as low as you can. And exhale, release. Let's change the side. From the tabletop position, extend your right leg out. Right heel somewhere in line with your left knee. Point the toes up as you flex the foot. Make sure the right knee is facing upwards. Try, I know it's very hard, but try to stick the booty back and up, melting the stomach down, lifting through the chest up. Now the stretch will become deeper if you twist open to the left. Left arm reaches up or you can place it onto the hips. A few dynamic thread the needle transitions. Twist to the right as you lower the left shoulder towards the floor. And reach back up two more times here. Wonderful. Release. Come back up into your downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg up, flex the foot, and now we'll be drawing big circles through the straight leg. So reach the right leg over to the side, back up. Again, finding the moment where you're opening through the hips and squaring the hips one last time. Let's change the sides. Inhale, left leg up, flex the foot, open through the hips, reach through the side, down and back up. Two more circles here. Try to keep both of your elbows straight. Back in the downward dog. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, step it through for wide-legged standing forward fold. So walk your hands to the center of the mat. Good. You can be reaching all the way forward with your upper body parallel with the floor or going a little bit deeper as you lengthen through the back. You're trying to reach with the crown of your head down towards the mat. Hold it in a place where you feel that your back remains long. You can extend through the hips back and up and find a good stretch through your hamstrings, through the inner thighs. From here, you can choose to extend over one leg at a time. And then make your way down onto the mat for the wide-legged seated forward fold. Here, if you have trouble reaching forward with your back straight, I strongly recommend sitting up on a towel or a blanket. Once we lift the hips up, it becomes much easier to extend forward, open through the chest, so that we feel for a good inner thigh stretch.
done. Slowly make your way back and up. Don't rush it. Wonderful. Bring your legs together. Make your way down onto your back. Welcome for the happy baby pose. If you cannot reach towards your feet, grab hold onto your ankles or might be piece fingers onto the big toes or the outsides of the feet if you want even deeper stretch. Try to keep your lower back closer towards the floor. Your knees are opening wider apart. Relax your shoulders. Now try to extend your left leg down onto the floor from here. Still maintaining the happy baby position on the right side. This will be a little bit more intense. Come back into the happy baby on both sides and now extend your right leg down onto the floor, keeping the happy baby position on the left side so the left knee remains bent. Right leg as straight on the floor as possible. Release, bring both of your knees to the chest. A little rest for the inner thighs. Now might be make a few circles with your hands, opening the knees to the sides and then drawing them back together and towards the chest. In this position might be reach the forehead towards your knees, inner thighs together. A release. This is the end of today's practice. If time allows, extend your legs out. Reach your arms alongside your body, who might be keep them on your hips. Close your eyes softly. We'll take a few moments here in Shavasana. First, consciously scan through your body from your head all the way down towards your toes. Make sure there is no tension remaining on your face or in your body. Soften and relax. Now for a little bit longer, Keep observing how you feel right now. Observe your energy, the warmth that you created in your body. Notice how you feel. And always take a moment to appreciate, to appreciate your effort, your strength of character, the decision that you made to step onto the mat for today's practice. Well done. You can stay in Shavasana for as long as you feel like, for as long as your time allows you today. It's a beautiful place to be at. And whenever you decide to come out of Shavasana, slowly bring the movement into your body. Roll through the right side before you decide to come back up into the cross-legged seated position. I like coming back here, just once again, allowing myself to notice how I feel.
I am saying my goodbye here as I reach my arms up. Exhale, hands come to the heart center. The light within me honors the light within you. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me on the mat today. I hope you enjoyed this practice. If you did, please press the like button. Remember to subscribe to my channel. I will greatly appreciate that. And I cannot wait to see you on the mat again. Much love and take care of yourself.